Dr. Downs would like to try our peppermint milk this morning. I'm sorry, could you repeat that? We didn't hear you. Hello? I don't think anybody said anything. It may have been you hearing my background. I just put myself on mute so you won't hear my background. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, wonderful. Okay, well, let's go ahead and get started. Oh, Dear Heavenly yes. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for waking up this morning, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that we have an excellent weekend, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. But most of all, right now, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for 2016, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for we made it through a year, Heavenly Father, in the name Amen. of Jesus. Some, may, some are not able to be here with us, Heavenly Father, in the name okay. of Jesus. But they're with us in spirit, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I just want to thank you and give you praise, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I want to thank you for everything that you've done for me this year, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Even though I'm in a moment of grieving, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, along with my mother, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. We know, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, your decision was for the best, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for my daddy and my mother's husband, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Okay. I pray that he's rejoicing with you, that we're making him smile, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, within the spirit, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. We know that body is gone, but the spirit is still alive, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. We know that the engine is not running, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, but he's still around, Heavenly Father, in the name mm-hmm. of Jesus. But we feel him everywhere we go, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So we just want to thank you for the memories, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. We want to thank you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for just Daddy, just everything that he instilled in both of us that we still carry on to this day. For we knew it was his time, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, to be with you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, and develop a relationship with you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. We knew that you knew, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So we just want to thank you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for everything that you've done within that situation, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. You gave us nothing but time, and you didn't have to give us that, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Within his last year of the strokes, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So we just want to thank you. Your last Friday of 2016, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray for everybody on this line who needs prayer, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Who needs covering, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray for everybody who isn't on the line, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Who say they have to go to work, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Are sitting at their desk and just wanting to call in. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, but afraid, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. The boss might see them, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Somebody might snitch on them and tell on them, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that you get rid of paranoia, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. For we know that ain't nothing but the enemy's attack, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Having us to feel that somebody's attacking us, we're even thinking one bit about us. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So I just pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that you cover them by the blood, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray, Heavenly Father, and I want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for my son's conduct throughout the year, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, or the last couple of months, Heavenly Father. For I have not gotten no phone calls, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. He's been acting so good in school, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, and trying to improve, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So I just want to thank you for that, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray for safe travels, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, as we go to Georgia, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, to be with the family, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. For my heart, I thought it was best to bring the family back together through these hard times, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, of losing people, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, through who our president is, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So she's trying to bring the tradition back, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I just pray for safe travels, Heavenly Father, and drama-free, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray for peace within the family and within the road trip, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I pray to you as I say to you, Thank you for everything you do, will do. Thank you for being you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen and amen. 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 Amen.
so good. Good morning. Thank you, God. Oh, yes, you're so good. I think that's Jennifer. You joined us this morning. Yes. Thank you. Good morning. Thank you for coming. Yes. Thank you, Father, for clothing us and keeping us in the right mind. Yes. In the name of Jesus, God, you've been so good. God, better to us, God, than we've been ourselves. God, like yes, the, the, the pastor that spoke this morning, God, please give him travel and mercy. Cover, God, not only him, God, but cover us all. God, and just thank you and praise you, God, for bringing us, God, to this end of the year all together, God, clothed and all in our right mind. And, God, we're going to praise you even in advance, God, God, for what you're going to do in the beginning of a new year in the mighty name. God, there may be a man standing before us, but, God, there's nobody like you. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, and all of the ones that are sick and shut in, God, we ask that you cover and heal sick bodies, God. Anoint all the afflicted, God, the ones that are standing on the corners that's trying to be God. But, God, we know that you're the only one, God, that we're to focus on. For, God, all our help, it comes from you. And, God, I just thank you right now, God, for allowing me, God, to be able to speak. Yes, I'm going into that hospital this morning, and I'm having an epidural, God, to lift pain, God, from my body. Yes. But I know, God, yes, you're going to meet me there, and, God, you're going to take that yes. pain away, God, because you did it before, and I know you can do it again. And, Father God, for that, I just thank you right now in advance. And I thank all of the loved ones that's here on this phone this morning, God. God, they yes, didn't have to be here, God, but it was you. God, that yes, had Lord. God to pick up that telephone, and God just standing, just mm-hmm. just just being in the, in the need. We don't have to be in your house this morning, God, but you made a connection, God, God, that we could that we could all come together on this telephone call. Some don't believe God prayers work, but God, I believe prayers work, and God, yes, God, just Lord. pray through me. God, that others can see the work that you have done in the mighty mm-hmm. name of Jesus, and mm-hmm. I thank you, Amen. 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 Amen and amen. Thank you for that. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much. Thank you, Father. If anyone else would like to pray this morning, please feel free. Dear Lord, we thank you for another day. We thank you for the activity of our limbs clothed in our right minds, Heavenly Father. Yes. We yes. thank you for the blood running warm in our veins, God. And despite yes. how our bodies may feel, Father, we magnify and glorify you, dear Lord Jesus, because we know that when you got on that cross over 2,000 years ago, dear Father, yes. you took upon our every infirmity, sickness, and disease. And because of your stripes, we are healed, God. So even now, Father, as we wrap up 2016, I speak perfect peace and healing over the heart and mind. Perfect peace in whose mind into 2017 that we have a fixed and focused mind. things and desires of this world to the point that it separates us from you, God. Lord, whatever we do, God, we want to glorify you. We want you to be exalted. We want you to be revered in all that we say and do, God. Bless our business endeavors. Bless our career moves. Bless our spiritual growth, Father, that we are more like you, dear Father, that when people see us, they no longer see us, but they see the Christ that lives in us, Father. So we can do all things through Christ that strengthen us, God. So, God, we come against the spirit of lack and fear, dear Father. We come against the spirit of doubt and judgment, Lord, but we rest and stand upon your word, God, knowing that you are our Alpha and our Omega, dear God. We worship you with a sincere heart, God, with a steadfast love, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. God, we thank you for this community of believers that dial in on these prayer calls, dear Father. We thank you, Lord, that you placed it on the heart of our brother Brandon and our sister Judy, dear Father. We thank you, Lord, that they submitted to your will and that they become obedient to the path that you have called them to, Heavenly Father. Lord, I ask that you would rain down upon them, Lord, with financial blessings, spiritual blessings, and that you would pull out of them every gift and talent that you have sowed into them, dear Father, so that they would be the servants of God 
God, that you have called them to be. Lord, look upon my sister who is in pain this morning that just prayed, dear yes. Father. I speak yes. divine healing over her body, yes. dear yes. Father, for your word says, whose report do we believe, God? We shall believe the report of the Lord that declares her complete and total healing, dear Father. Yes. Lord, whatever your children are faced with, God, there are things that we have not murmured or uttered, but you know all about us, dear Heavenly Father. We lift those things up to you, dear Father, and we decree and declare that as we exit 2016, 2017 will be better, dear Father, that doors will be open and ways will be made, and God, that you would order our steps and orchestrate your will for our lives, dear Father, for we decree and declare no weapon formed against us will prosper, dear God, and we just thank you right now, Heavenly Father, for what you are doing, dear God. We trust you with every fiber of our being, God. We trust you with our whole heart, God. We believe and stand on your word, for it is unfailing, God. It is a word that will not fall to the ground, God. Whatever you send it out to do, it shall be accomplished. God, your word says you are not a God that would lie to us, neither the Son of Man, that you would repent, God. So we bless you right now, God, for what you are doing, Father. Father, I thank you, Lord, that even through the hard times of 2016, you were right there with us, Heavenly Father. I thank you, Lord, that when we've come to our way in, you send forth your minister and angels to wrap your loving arms around us, dear God. We thank you for keeping us safe, dear God. We thank you for not allowing the adversary to overtake us, God. For we stand on your word that we are more than conquerors, God. And even through those trials and tribulations, Mm. Father, you loved us through it all, dear God. When we were in the fiery furnace of affliction, you were right there with us, God, even as you were with the three Hebrew boys, dear Father. So, God, we lift you up this morning, exalting you, Father, for you are our Jehovah, God. You are our Elohim. You are our Shiloh, God. You are our sailor, and we thank you this morning, God. And we are expecting greater things, Father. We're sitting at the tent door, God, and we're watching and waiting and believing in you, God. We cannot go to anybody else but you, Heavenly Father. So we thank you this morning, God, and we honor you. We worship you, Father. And if there is anything that is in us, God, that displeases you, Father, we lay those things on the altar this morning, dear Father. Sanctify our conversation. Sanctify our bodies. Sanctify our mindset, dear Father, so that we would epitify who you truly are in this world, God. You said we are a royal people, a chosen generation, God, and we thank you, Lord, that you have adopted us into the kingdom of God. So even now, Father, we put on our royalty this morning, and we walk as kings and queens and princesses and and high servants of the Most High, and we honor you, Lord. It is in Jesus' name we pray pray. Amen. 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 Anyone else feel that to place, please just go ahead and begin. We are here to support one another. Don't feel Mm. shy if you don't pray a certain kind of way. God hears everything that we need in our prayers. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm, thank you, Lord. There is none like you, Father. None like you, Jesus. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Well, I'm going to go ahead and read a verse for today. It's coming out of Hebrews 4 and 16. And I love my message Bible because it's so direct. But it says, now that we know what we have, mm, Jesus, yeah, yeah. this great high priest with ready access to God, Let's not let it slip through our fingers. We don't have a priest who's out of touch with our reality. He's been through weakness and testing, experienced it all, all but the sin. So let's walk right up to him and get what he is so ready to give. Take the mercy, accept the help. Dear ones, this morning, we have a high priest. His name is Jesus. He is always there on the right hand side of the Father making intercession for us. He understands our frame. He remembers that we are dust, and he forever is our advocate with the Father. 
I just want someone to be encouraged that whatever you're going through, Jesus understands your situation. Don't think it, that he does not know what you're going through. Don't think that he does not understand. And I am here to tell you that he will bring people who not only have either been through what you've been through and are on the other side. That's right. Or That's right. Will continue to walk with you as you go through whatever it is you're going through. He knows us, and so don't ever lose hope thinking that God does not understand our situation. I'm going to go ahead and pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you this morning for this, the last Friday in a long 2016. Heavenly Father, we started this year in one kind of way, and we may be coming out of this year in another kind of way, but we can all say that we are here, that we are standing with breath in our lungs, Thank you, you for every day that you have sought fit to give us, Heavenly Father. There are some of us who have been through some setbacks and some turnarounds. Heavenly Father, there are some of us who may have seen advances, but we all have to, at the end of the day, say thank you, Jesus, for the life that we have and the life that you give us more abundantly. There are ones, that, there are ones on this call that have asked that we lift them up. They're ones that have called into or chatted into our line and asked for prayer. So this morning, Heavenly Father, I don't want to leave their names out. I don't want to not remember their requests and their prayers. Dear Heavenly Father, there's ones that are asking for health. They have health concerns, dear Lord, but we know you're a healer. Our Bible says by your stripes we are healed. And dear Heavenly Father, I understand the need and the, the, the desire for healing, Heavenly Father. So I ask that you come and meet those people where they are, Lord, and the healing that they need in their body. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for those who have reached out to us, Lord, and asked them to reach, either lift up their brothers or their stepdaughter who will be flying home and is dealing with some issues at home. So, dear Heavenly Father, we ask that you cover that young lady as she is on that plane. We ask that you keep her from all hurt, harm, and danger, bringing her to her destination. And when she arrives, dear Heavenly Father, we ask that she find that the situation is already resolved and clean in Jesus' name. Dear Heavenly Father, we ask these things in your name. Heavenly Father, I hope others have just asked that we pray for them. God, you know their situation. They don't have to help tell us everything. They don't have to utter a word to us. You know, and the Holy Spirit can go straight to them and bless them where they are and touch them in their bodies, releasing them from infirmities, releasing them from any mental and trauma and stress. Dear Heavenly Father, we ask that you rain down on these on this line, Lord. Open up their eyes to see the blessings that are around them. Help them to continue to praise you and lift you up for everything that you brought into their lives. Dear Heavenly Father, as we come to the bottom of this year, we just have to praise your name. We just have to worship you. Yes, Lord. We just have to understand that you have left us here in the land of the living to be lights on a a mountain to be salt in this earth, Lord, that we will continue to bring favor. We are a living testimony. We are a living testament to your power, your grace, and your mercy. So, dear Heavenly Father, we thank you this morning. We praise you this morning for everything that you've done in our lives, how you've allowed us to see the cusp of 2017. Dear Heavenly Father, Mm -hmm. and help us bold and courageous, Lord, that we go forward, bringing on your name, saving those souls that you send our way that need to know about salvation, yes. touching and agreeing with others and new endeavors and new ventures, Lord, reaching out to those who are also yes. on the battle, Lord, and reaching out and holding their hands and saying, we are in this together. Dear yes. Heavenly Father, there are those who are afraid of the political systems. There are those who are shaking because of the changes and the morals and the values But, Heavenly Father, you have made us soldiers of the almighty living God, and we are not afraid, Lord. You've asked us to fear not, and therefore I ask everybody on this line, just say, I will not fear, for my God is with you always. Yes, Heavenly Father, we thank you for the strength that you're going to put into our bodies. I thank you for the spirit that you're going to release in our souls and in our minds to have a word in season and out of season to be able to speak to those who need to to be spoken to, to be able to encourage those who need to be encouraged, to ever to lift up those who are falling down, Heavenly 
Father. Help us to be, like I said, soldiers in your army, ready to go out and dispense your word and your mercy and your grace. Dear Heavenly Father, watch over those this weekend. We know that this is a holiday weekend, and so many people go out of their homes and do not return. So, God, I ask that you cover each and every one. Let them be able to go out in the highways and the byways, whether they go to watch night service, whether they go to a church service in the next day. But, Heavenly Father, whoever is out there, Lord, cover them and allow them to return to their destination in safety with no harm. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen Amen and amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Anybody else want to pray? If you want to go ahead and pray, don't hesitate. Don't worry about who's on the phone or who's going to be listening in or who's going to judge because it's all about God. You talking to God, you communicating reaction to God, and, you know, us coming together as one. Two or more that's gathered, what happens? I have a, a request. I know I, I got on the call late. My name is Natalie. Um, but I want to ask that you all pray for my friend Tasha. Um, she's battling leukemia, and her son was shot um, night oh. before last, and he's on life support. Um, so she's not doing good, and then this happens with her son, and it's just weighing me down. Um, so if y'all can just mm-hmm. please lift her up. 10-4, 10-4. Uh, Jerry, you want to go in? Uh, I'll go ahead. Dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for allowing Natalie to call, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. For we knew, you knew, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, what was best, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray for Natalie's friend, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, who's going through sickness, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. We need you right now. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, to cover her, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, as she might be discouraged, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, from her son being shot, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. We don't know the situation that you know, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, but we ask for recovery, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. We ask whatever you have in mind, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Maybe Lord. Maybe for him to be connected to you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Maybe after this, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, he says, I want to give yes, my Jesus. life fully to the Lord, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. 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 I want to give my life to the Lord, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So I pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that who's ever affected, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that who's a, whoever was around that night, Heavenly Father, have mercy, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Whoever was in that picture, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that they have that time to draw into you now, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Yes, so Lord they Jesus. realize, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that it wasn't worth it, but you are all worth it, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Yes, For that yes, wasn't worth it, but you are worthy, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So I just pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that the relationship just builds up sometimes. You do yes, things for certain reasons, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. You allow things to happen, Heavenly Father. Mercy, Jesus. What they have to do the work you got for the good, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So people yes, are Lord. taking his life yes, to work for death, Heavenly Father. But he just rested, Heavenly Father, building a communication mm-hmm. standard with you, Heavenly Father. In the yes, name Father. Of He's communicating with you without a reaction, Heavenly Father. You are talking to him right now. Yes, Lord. 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 Saying all oh, glory go to God, Heavenly Father. Oh, yes, yes. yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. For you have your own reasons, Heavenly mm-hmm. Father, that we might not know, Heavenly Father. We might not know, but yeah. you know. And you know what's best before we do, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So I just want to pray, mm-hmm. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for that family. And we want to thank you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. 
but there's millions of people out there that's going through the same thing that Natalie is going through, her friend is going mm-hmm. through, and her friend's son is going through, Heavenly yeah, Father, yeah, in the name of yeah, Jesus. Yeah. And it wouldn't take the time, Heavenly Father, in order yeah. to submit to you, Heavenly Father, on this mm-hmm. Friday morning of 2016, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So we just want to thank you for Natalie calling in, Heavenly Father, thank you, for, to be thank covered in prayer, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. For we know that's only you, Heavenly Father. That ain't me, Heavenly Father. <laughs> that's not Judy, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. That's not Jennifer, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. That's you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So I just yes, want to Lord. Thank you, yes, Father. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, and we want to give you praise and glory, Heavenly Father. We're not going to look at this as a morning. We're not going to look at this as a sad situation, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Because like Victory. I said, you did it for your own reason, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. You're mm. doing it for your glory, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. For all the mm. glory you deserve, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Because we know, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that if we was to die right now, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we die of choice, Heavenly Father. Either we're going to get it right with you, or we're going to get it wrong, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. You're not a forceful Father, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. You give us decisions. You just keep us aware of the decisions that we make, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So I just pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, and I thank you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen and amen. Is there anyone else who would like to share a request or a praise report or just a word if the Lord has led the Lord to your heart? Please feel free to go ahead. I just feel the spirit moving here, Lord, that you are in this call, you are on this call, you are touching the very heart. So if anyone feels led, please do not hesitate. Please do not hold back. We appreciate what God does in each and every one of us. Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> this is Carolyn, and uh, praise God. I'm, uh, God brought two scriptures to my heart. The first one is uh, Jeremiah 4 and 5. That's a life scripture I had in period with purpose, a uh, discipleship group I went through years ago. It says, before I formed you, I knew you, mm, and I called yes. you forth as a prophet to the nations. And God yes. said, he said, I don't know what to speak with. I'm, I'm just a youth, a young person. And many times, many of us don't know what to say or afraid, as you said earlier, woman of God. But God said, uh, will you be willing? He said, he called you before your mother's womb, no matter what mom and dad had planned, that you've been called forth. And you're not a bastard child. You're yes. not a uh, yes. forgotten or you're mm-hmm. not this or that. People may call us or name us one thing because they see your family or they see how you react, but God God sees the greatness in us. He sees yes. the call of God in us, and we must stand there and walk in that and always remember, go back to it in um, Jeremiah. Actually, the whole book is good, but Jeremiah is one of my life scriptures because I stand on it. He said, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. That means the relationship called you forth at the same time as a prophet to the nation. So I would say definitely read that. The other one is Psalms 91. I love how that's a prayer of protection. And as we're going throughout, anoint our heads with oil as we go through the door, as we're driving, ask the Lord to be with us. But the Lord, many times the enemy's trying to come and bring um, oppression, suppression, meaning coming to torment, as he did David. But we're getting to speak the word of the Lord and say, no, 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 there's too much to be done. You know, he's trying to come and, no, no, you got to speak the word of the Lord about life over you in Jesus' name yeah. and not death untimely death. Everything is not a, the enemy. Everything is not God. Everything We can speak life and, and, and extend things like he did Hezekiah. He gave him 15 more years after Hezekiah repented. God gave him time. And I would say the same for our lives. The Holy Spirit, God will give us the time we need in Jesus' name. But um, Psalms 91 is one of my uh, life scriptures as well. And it's, I love that he that dwelt in the secret place of the Most High shall abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely he should save you from the foulest snare and from the deadly pestilence. 
He will cover yeah. you with his feathers. I think this is NIV, I believe. Under his wings you'll find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and your rampart. You will not fear the terror by night, the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestle that stalks in darkness, or the plague that destroys at midday. I love verse 7. A thousand shall fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand. But look, yeah. not I, you, only with your eyes will you see the reward yeah. of the wicked in the day of judgment. And I'll stop right there. I'll just say that. And then if you go down to verse 11, he commanded his angels concerning us. So we go, the Lord help me. So yeah. Help me, Jesus. Like, give me what I need this season. Protect yeah. my family. Protect, protect the little ones. And uh, watch over in this end time because he's after the anointing, but he can't stop what God has called. He can try and hinder you from receiving this promise. But he yeah. can't stop it and get you yeah. out of place, get us out of place. He can't stop or hinder in mm-hmm. Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, or, or try to bring this great, uh, discouragement, but it's done in Jesus' name. Amen. So with that, I'll just Amen. I'll go pray as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. Father God, I just thank you for this morning. Oh, God, you give, we give you praise. You're the head of my life, our lives, the love of our soul, God. It's in you we live and move and have our being. Lord, it's in you, God. We find who we are. We find our womanhood, our manhood, our anointedhood. Where we are. Lord, we thank you that we are called according to your purpose, God. There's nobody else like you, Lord. We searched all over this person, that place. Go here, go there, God. Thank you for the jobs you allow mm-hmm. us to have, God. And thank you for the friendships, God. But nobody compares to you, God. Nobody, Lord. I thank you, Lord God, that we put you first this morning, God, as a as the head of our lives, the love of our souls. Father, we thank you, Lord. We seek you first, the kingdom of heaven, and we thank you, Lord God. There's no a good thing you are holding for your children as we walk up right before you, asking you to forgive us, God, for our thoughts and intents, God. Forgive us for our motives. Forgive us for even thinking about our brothers and sisters in the wrong manner, God. Father, we intercede and pray for them. We bless yeah. those that curse us. We bless those that backbite and laugh and talk. We bless and pray for those, God, even ministries that are, that, Lord God, that are that, that misuse and, 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 uh, and hurt many of the people of God. Lord, we pray for them. We pray yeah. for those pastors and leaders that are wayward, God, that you would, Holy Ghost, you will deal with them and bring them in, God. You will deal with their hearts. You will deal with their libidos, God. Bring them in that they'll want to be saved. They'll want to live right and holy before you, God. That they won't tell one thing in the pulpit and go live another way. Oh, God, I don't shut in the middle of the week, God. But I thank yeah. you for holiness, God, that it's still right, God. I thank you for righteousness, God. That, Lord God, that we will seek righteousness, Lord, that we want to be right standing in front of you, God. We thank you, Lord, that you are the mediator between God and man. Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, that Lord God, that you, there's nothing, God, too hard for you, God. Even right now, someone's believing you, their mortgage should be paid, God. Someone oh. believing you for a new car right now, God. We thank you, Lord God, that these materialistic things, that you're on a count on a thousand hill, and there's nothing too hard for you, God. And I give you praise this morning, even in the midst of resting, that we'll pull away and rest right now, God. In the midst of all the uh, the, the torment, in the midst of the work and the bustle and trying to buy this and sell this and live and work and take care of family, that we will rest in our spirits, God, and know, Lord, that you are God. Lord, we will rest in you right now, God. We rest, God. Our minds rest right now in you, God. Our spirits rest right now in you, God, to know, Lord, that all that uh, that's said and done, God, is in your hands, God. And it's out of your hands, we will not pluck it, God. Lord, there, that husband is in your hands, God. Lord, he, Lord, you draw them to you. You draw salvation, God, to you. That wife is in your hands, God. Lord, you hear her raise her up right now out of the bed of perdition. Raise her up right now out of, out of the coma, God. Raise them up, God, out of the coma. In the name of Jesus, in your hands, God. And, Lord, we release, oh, God, any worry, any frustration. And know, Lord God, that after we've done everything we know to do, we rest, God. And on the seventh day, Lord, we rest. We trust you, God. Lord, prepare us for the new year. As they say, reset 2017, God. Reset us, God, in 16, Lord, that we may hear what you're saying. Give us an ear to hear, God, in the spirit. Prophetically, God, we call forth the strength and gift from the prophetic on the inside of us. The apostolic gifts many of us are sitting on. It's time to come forth. People need to hear a prophetic word. Lord, don't let us just sit here and 
think about ourselves, God, or, or hear yeah. a word and second guess it. But, Lord, let us speak in confidence and boldness. Build our faith as we stand in the word, God. Give us a desire to get in that word. Give us a desire, Lord, to pray and to seek your face, God. Give us a desire to wail, oh God. Oh, God, give us, a, give us a heart to hear you, God, in Jesus' name. And we cover this ministry, Lord, this prayer ministry, that it won't fall under, God. But, Lord, that you give the leaders a, a continual desire to pray, a continual desire, whether it be 10 on the phone or whether it be 100, God, or a million, God. Lord, there's nothing too hard for you. And as they remain humble, as you're taking them higher, God, as you're bringing them on higher yes, platforms, Lord, Lord remain humble. Oh, God, bring provision their way, God. From the north, the south, east, and west, you know what they have need yes. of right now, God. Yes, Lord. I thank you for bringing favor, Lord God. Lord, give them, uh, give them grace, God, with other leaders, other pastors, that they won't uh, downplay their ministry, God, but they'll help them, they'll encourage them in the Lord. Father, I give you praise and I give you honor. When all is said and done, Lord, we trust you. I trust yes, you, God. You and I thank you that I rest in you, Lord. And we, we know it's yes. done. We know yes. it's done. Uh, you died yeah. 2,000 years ago that, that we may have life and have it more abundantly. And, Lord, we mm-hmm. rest in you. Whoever may, you may have a problem resting, God, Lord, teach them your way, God. Give them a desire, God. Mm-hmm. And, Lord, we love you. We love you, God. We thank you. And the young lady at work that lost her child, Lord God, uh, I thank you, Lord God, that you're restoring God and healing. I thank you for salvation, God, for unsaved loved ones, God. I thank you, Lord God, that you're Raising up, God, even the youth, I, I was, I thank you, Lord, for the youth, God, the character building, God, character yeah. building, God, give us character. Lord God, we got the prophetic, we got the apostolic, but no character, God. Give us character, God, that we can stand in the courtroom, we can stand, Lord God, at the, the spiritual judgment seat, and Lord God, that we can, our character will keep us. Not our prophetic yeah. word, not our apostolic sayings, but Lord, give us a character like you, God. Give us a character, Lord. God, like Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, give us character, God. Well, God, we lack that in this end time. God, we we we, we can we can hide on those Sunday prophesy here and there, God. But Lord, we lack that, God. And I cry out for the body of Christ and for character for the younger generation, the older generation, God. They let us go uh, be, oh God, or known and ordained one day and lack character to stand, lack character and morality, God, among and ethics among our brothers and our sisters, God. Oh God, give us a character and ethics, Lord, to love, ethics to to be there, ethics, Lord God, to stand. Ethics, Lord God, to read and exegete the text. That means properly, rightly divide the word. God, I thank you and give you praise. I thank you that we'll feel love. Who doesn't feel love today? That you're loved and accepted and the beloved. There's nothing you have to do to measure your love. You don't have to go buy a million dollars of roses. You're loved and accepted. And I thank you, Lord God, that we're loved and accepted in you, God. Mm, thank you, Father. Even, even Pastor Brandon, God, be with him this morning. Pastor Corey, God, be with them, God. Watch over and protect their ministry. I thank you they've been faithful, Lord, to you and so many others. That do you increase it, God? We thank you for new buildings. We prophesy new buildings in God. We prophesy new uh the new chairs, the new room accommodations, things they have mm-hmm. need of, thing monies for the city, monies where they're going and coming, God. We prophesy it in, in Jesus' name. Let them go on in and coming out, God. Let them lack no good thing. Father, I thank you, God, for oh God, the woman of God right now in Jesus' name. I thank you for God, and I thank you for keeping them, God, in your name. I seal in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Oh, amen. 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 We thank you for that powerful prayer. Mm. That woman can pray up here, Lord Casey. Lord, yes, yes. That yes. woman can pray. We all have a call. This is um, this is this is Cheryl. Can you guys hear me? I can hear you. Okay, I just yes. want to say because I have to run into the office. Brandon, I want to thank you for reaching out to me today. The one thing I can tell you from everything I have heard on this line is that it is nothing but confirmation as to what is to come in the new year. I thank you guys for what you are doing. I thank you for reaching out to people one by one. I thank you that you have a heart for the people. And I say this to you, it does not matter who is not supporting you because that's God right. is the people that you need. Everybody Amen. that's what you to encounter is who he is going to bring to you. I want to thank you personally because today 
I've prayed and I've prayed halfway to work. Brandon reached out to me, and everything that I talked to God about, you all spoke about and prayed about today on this mm-hmm. line. You yeah. never know yeah. who you are affecting. You never know whose life you are affecting. You Continue to be right. obedient. Continue to do his will. Yeah. Continue to do his will no matter what you feel or think on that day. You mm-hmm. never know whose life you're going to change. That's right. I, I just Ooh. can't thank you enough for the invitation on this day. I have not been able to attend your functions. I haven't had the opportunity to mm. be on the prayer. But I was in the car today when Brandon Look reached out. Mm. And I just thank you for that. I mm. thank you for what you all are doing. Continue to do what you do. Know that you are necessary in the kingdom. Amen. Every Amen. The kingdom Amen. is different. Your purpose, your walk is exactly what That's God right. needs it to be, and not everybody is going to be able to subscribe to that, but that is okay. Mm-hmm. That is okay. That is okay. God has a specific purpose and plan for your ministry. Keep Amen. doing what you're doing. Peace, love, and blessings into the new year. I thank you all so much, and God be with you. Have a Amen. wonderful new year. And I hope you to too. Talk- you too. Thank you, oh, Jesus. Wow. Thank you for that. We appreciate that so yes. much. Yes, bless you. Oh, well, thank you. God bless thank you guys. You. God bless you as all well. Right, yeah. All right, all right. Well, we all have a calling. We all have a purpose. So I just pray that, and and I want to encourage y'all to walk with them purpose. It ain't all about uh, what just me, Judy, and Jennifer are doing. Carolyn is doing something, um, mm-hmm. you know, so her sister Sonia is doing things in the community and in the streets. So I, I just, everybody on this line has a purpose within God, and I pray Amen. that you walk upon calling, regardless of who says that you are worthy or not. Because mm-hmm. God knows that you are worthy, and he's assigned you yes, to do does. certain duties upon him and for him. So I just yeah. encourage y'all to do what needs to be done in order to promote and build the kingdom. And I thank y'all for calling in. Anybody who wants to have, uh, wants to come in and pray is welcome. We don't have a time limit on this prayer line. We Uh, we don't. (laughs) We have a certain assignment on this prayer line. We just come in and we go in together. Whether it's, it's not put together or put in order or anything, we're just going to the kingdom. Every Friday at 8 o'clock. So if you want to go, go ahead. Well, good morning, good morning. My name is Della, and I'm down here in Columbia, South Carolina. I just want to say praise God once again for the invitation from you, Brandon. And this is my third time being on the call with you guys, and I just want to say I praise God for your obedience. I want to, I want to come behind the young lady and just, let you know, keep doing what God is telling you to do. We have a prayer line. Also, we do it seven days a week, and prayer is needed more now than ever before. So anytime mm-hmm. I can with other prayer warriors and blend and, and elevate our faith together, it is a blessing. And I just want to encourage each and every one of you, no matter what it looks like, no matter what it feels like, keep being obedient because God's blessings are raining down. I know you know what I'm talking about. They're raining down on each and every one of your life, and he's just getting started because I know he's just getting started with us. And so I just want to encourage each and every one of us as we pray, and sometimes the calls may be light, and some kind, sometimes the manifestations may seem like they come in slow, but you know our God is always an on-time God. So I just want to continue to encourage. Yes, yes. Mm. Thank you for, for uh, welcoming me. Thank you for inviting me. And it's always been a blessing every and each time I've joined the call. Amen. Oh, amen. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Give me your information for the uh, prayer line. Give me your information. Okay, I'll send it to you. Thank you, brother. No problem, no problem. Okay. Anybody else that has anything that's going on um, and wants to inform people, uh, be be free. Go ahead and let people know what you got going on so people can support you. Well, ladies and gentlemen that are on the phone, this is Jennifer Cook. Um, I am CEO and founder of Fashion the Mind, Fashion the Figure, but also 
also I have what we call is a Facebook page called Fireside Chat, and that is going to be a platform for men and women where we are able to have wholesome, clean conversations discussing relevant issues, things such as finances, sexuality, relationships, business endeavors. So look out for that. Um, You can find us on Facebook at Fireside Chat 2017. I am going to be putting out a calendar of events within the next few days. We're going to have presentations, interactive discussions on these various issues, and the first one coming up is going to address mental illness. The Lord dealt with me about that this morning, and he said, I need for the first topic to be on mental illness because a lot of people, saved and unsaved, the mind is the battlefield, and we have to teach people how to overcome that with the Word of God as well as natural and other spiritual resources. So I encourage everyone to like our page, find our page, and be prepared for Bigger and Better in 2017. And as far as Fashion of Mind, Fashion of Figure, I am a Christian motivational speaker, and I'm coming to a city near you. So watch your calendars, your Facebooks, your Twitters, your YouTube, because I am coming. God is sending me out there to help restore class confidence and courage and destroy the negative imagery of women and girls in the media. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Powerful. Thank you so much. Well, if all hearts and minds are clear, if there isn't any... Hello? Hello? I think Judy got disconnected. Okay. People, a couple of people have hung up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I got to get ready to go to work. But I just want to thank you all for what you're doing. That was right on time. Um, this is my first time on the call. And um, I just found out, you know, my friend's son yesterday. So, I mean, this was just right on time. And I just want y'all to keep doing what you're doing, and um, God bless all of you all, and hopefully I will be on the next call as well. All right. Thank well, you have an excellent day and an excellent weekend, okay. and uh, just continue to, yeah. just continue to pray and be by your friend's side, um, oh, and yeah. encourage you, and oh, anytime yeah. you need us, we're here for you. So, um, oh, you know, you. We're, oh. we ain't even a call away. We're a half a call away. Okay. So, you know, <laughs> that's um, right. That's right. A, a few steps away. So Thanks. you know, don't don't be hesitant in order to reach out because you know prayer is everything. Oh that's yeah. That's the way that we we seek the Father yeah. through prayer. I know a lot of times that I have a bad day, a, a, a bad day, mm-hmm. and I just end up praying. I'm supposed to miss it that I end up praying. I have yeah. somebody else praying for me. And uh, have Judy praying for me, and what happens is my whole day is clear. Mm-hmm. You know, my my day is just clear from being discouraged. I get to in, being encouraged after prayer. So I just encourage you, not only to be encouraged, but encourage somebody else. Yeah. So, Amen. Amen. You know, uh, we're gonna go ahead and, and close in prayer. Whoever wants to close, feel free. Um, like I said, this is not a. This is for everybody, not just for me, not just for Judy, not just for Jennifer. This is everybody. Uh, you know, we just host it. So, you know, if you want to pray, Natalie, I encourage you to pray right now before you go into work to cover your friend, her son, and your dad at work today. Okay. Let me take it off speaker. Hold on. Father God, we come to you this morning, Lord, just thanking you for another day, thanking you for all the blessings that you have bestowed upon us. And we just ask for prayer for my friend Tasha, her son, Marquis, Lord, that you will pull him through, Lord, because we know that you can do it. And we ask that you will give her peace and comfort, Lord, to know that her son is going to be fine. And it's your will, whatever it may be. Yes. We know that you, you make no mistakes, God. And we just thank you for it. Um, we ask you that we will go through this day with no interruptions, 
no no kind of problems, nothing. And if we do, Lord, we know that we can face, come to you, Lord, and know that you will um, answer any uh, problems or um, anything that we may have on our heart, Lord, that you will take care of it because you are our Father, you are our Savior, and we just love you and we thank you and just thank you for everything that you've done for us, Lord. We can never yes. repay you. Yes, and Lord. You are our Father, our King, and we are your kings and queens, your daughters and sons. And we thank you for it. In the name of Jesus, amen. 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 So I hope y'all have a excellent Y'all have week. a wonderful day. Yes. God bless you. Remember that. We love you, but God loves you more. Amen. Yes. I love Amen. y'all, too. All right. All right. Take okay, care, y'all. Take care. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. Well. Hmm.